This video explains how to expand the digital inputs and outputs of Andino boards by connecting them to other Andino X1 boards via USB. In some cases, the number of inputs integrated into Andino boards might not be sufficient. Furthermore, you might want to use signal preprocessing on the Andino I.O., which does not have an integrated microcontroller for doing so. In this case, using the X1 boards for input expansion can offer a convenient solution. In total, up to four Andino X1 boards can be connected to the original Andino board, thus allowing the simultaneous usage of up to 35 digital inputs and 11 relay outputs. Since the inputs of the X1 boards are pulled by a microcontroller, they offer pre-processing in real-time. Since the X1 boards don't require a Raspberry Pi inside, the bare boards without a Raspberry Pi can also be ordered on our shop. The X1s can be connected to the Andino I.O. via mini-USB. The mini-USB port on the X1 boards is the same that can be used to program the firmware of the microcontroller and is located below the SD card slot. The USB-A side of the cable can be plugged directly into the Andino I.O. board. The Andino X1 boards also require a separate power connection. The easiest way to achieve this is by connecting the power input pins on the X1 housings to the power supply of the Andino I.O. in parallel. The X1 board jumpers also need to be set to the USB configuration. The jumpers are located directly next to the A2E pins. After having done this, the hardware installation is now complete. The X1 inputs can now be accessed directly via the Andino I.O. This can be done via any application that supports sending and receiving serial messages, for example, Node Red. For testing purposes, however, Minicom provides a good solution. First, the addresses of the X1 board need to be identified. Since they are all connected to USB, running ls slash def slash tty usb star should reveal the same number of devices that you have plugged in. In this case, I have two X1 boards connected. Afterwards, we can enter the Minicom setup. If you have not yet installed Minicom, you can do so by running sudo apt install minicom. The setup can now be entered by running sudo minicom dash dash setup. Here, navigate to serial port setup and enter the following settings. First, uh, click on A to change the serial device and this needs to be set to TTY USB and then the number of your USB device. This is essentially one of the entries you just identified. Hit enter to confirm and then make sure that the bits per second are set to 38,400 and make sure that hardware flow control and software flow control are both set to no. Then press enter to exit the serial port setup and choose exit in the menu. You should now see the status messages by one of the X1 boards start to appear. Of course, you can also run commands to control the relays of the board, change settings and more. For a more detailed explanation on all available commands, please see our detailed explanation of the entire firmware.